it's the facet hold the shootout of the century we're gonna do a haul the facet shootout not really shootout we're just gonna take a look a quick look at the machines and see how they changed over time Halda made in Sweden facet made in Sweden they're both the same machines inside if you look it's got this double slotted screw thing right there cool yellow paper got a type bar holder rest and then if you come over here it's the same design same curved type bar rest they changed the ribbon spool system this is a proprietary spool system you can see underneath here it's got this fancy trigger system and a slotted ribbon drive you can see down there at the ribbon gear that's a slot and that ribbon spool slots into that slot and that's what drives your ribbon so if you lose these ribbon spools you are pretty much stuck with having to make your own system <laughs> figure out some way to get your ribbons to drive this one just takes din spools but it can be swapped to standard spools there's a little center pin in there you can pull that that out and you can use standard spools same touch controls same touch controls now this machine will flip up the bottoms here toss the stuff aside they are a little different in material and design flip this guy up here too take a look um, size wise the keyboard size is completely the same from from left to right but underneath the machine you can see it's completely blocked off where on this newer facet the TP1, you've got an opening to do some adjustments, some of your more common adjustments. And uh, there's a spring system on the space bar, you can see right there. Now, if you come over to the TP1, you see they've got a complex, a more complex system with this little felt rest thing. And this space bar is actually tighter to use than the Haldas and it was kind of tripping me up on my typing. So I pulled off these tension springs that connect from here to here on both sides of this TP1 from here to here, just to see if that lightened up the load a little bit and I can get it to be more like its older brother. And it sort of helped and it sort of didn't. And I can kind of narrow that down to uh, the, the age of the machine and the use of the machine the materials. I'm just slide these back. But the Halda has a slightly lighter feel. Put this ribbon cover back on here. The Halda has a slightly lighter, snappier feel to it with the keys and the space bar compared to the Facet TP1. I don't know what it is. I haven't really figured it out yet. It could be adjusted. It could be adjusted out. It just feels like this. You have to go a little bit further into your press to get the same paper contact is this where this one it's like super light instant this one it's I feel like I have to push a little bit harder to get to where I need to go it could be a design change it could be just like I said spring tension adjustments but you can see they carried over this the margin release they didn't put the margin release in the same place but they did give an homage to the the original by putting a little cool facet silver decal stamp right there so yeah it's kind of they carried over a lot of stuff and then they changed a lot of stuff this one has a super complex tabulation rack system that is very fun not fun to fix i fixed a few of them i've got to take apart that whole system to to get inside there the carriage on the the hall is super smooth and it's a regular standard ball bearing captive bearing system whereas the tp1 they went full on olivetti and they went to like a tubed system with spherical bearings that spiral spherically around that center tube and so it is a nice smooth carriage i'll tell you that but it's just they got the same feel from that and then they went to this, which I don't know what the logic was behind it, but man, it is 
super smooth on re on wheels. It's been smooth too, but it's just a standard. So we'll run a couple lines through each of these, we'll take a look at it, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna throw you guys in the type stand. We'll start with the Halda. You guys saw me type test the Halda the other day, so this is nothing new. This is just something to do for fun on a, oh, I bumped the camera, sorry guys. It feeds paper nicely, dang it. Excuse my wobble. Like I said, desk space is kind of limited, so I'm just gonna slide this over and we'll just go from there. <laughs> Oop, that's me. That was a whole lot of typos and me just banging around on keys. But it's a very nice, smooth, fun machine to use. Open the facet, throw it into the facet. Feeds paper nice. Get this camera over to that direction. Take a little quick look at the facet. Color selected. Yeah, very cool. Like I said, it feels this one feels a little bit more wooden. It's not a bad typing machine, but it just the touch is a little stiff on this one. So there's the Halda machine on the top. Let me just flinging keys like a madman not even paying attention and then the same thing down here on the the tp1 but i do like both of these machines and i would like to get a platen in this one and see how it feels with the brand new platen but right now i'm enjoying the halda and i enjoy the facet and it's 51 half dozen to the 50 others i guess you can say so that's it guys that was just my quick overview of the facet halda generational spread it's not a super in-depth check because i could pull the bottom off and we can start going through individual components but they are one in the same machines same same heritage same pedigree so i kind of like the feel of the lighter all the space bar and keys versus this more springy newness the tp1 and like i said at the beginning of the video it could just be down to the the age of the machine, the use case, they're all different when you get to the nitty gritty of it. But we'll get more in and we'll keep testing them out and see if it's just a one-off thing or the way that these things are. So that's it guys, a little Halda facet video. Talk to you later.